which would actually be over here on the side you open it you grab your mask you put it on you immediately go into interphone so that and then you cross check that your that your partner can hear you and as soon as that's done immediately initiate the descent seatbelt signs come on okay, we're on our track as of right now and everything's looking all good uh, everything seems fine and uh, everyone's happy in the back uh, all all is well all right until until a rapid decompression happens <laughs> now you see rapid decompression is where it could be a number of things uh, some something something penetrated the skin of the aircraft and create a gaping hole so that air pressure is leaking very very quickly could be an explosion could be um, you know there there are many many factors that could lead to a rapid de decompression or rather an explosive decompression and uh, it's 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 actually quite a scary thing to happen and uh, I hope and I pray none of you will ever have to experience it yet. Uh, you know as passengers or as pilots you know so it's just one of those things you you, you never want to go through because it, it can leave a lasting impression on you but uh, yeah but then again we do have a procedure on how to handle it and what to do so you know what uh, without any further ado let's just let's just go for it guys all right and three two one and okay here we go here's the bang and then immediately something's happening you would have uh, in real life we would have heard a bang and very very quickly you can see that we've got the cabin pressure page has uh, has come up uh, cabin altitude is climbing like crazy all right master warning cabin pressure excess cabin altitude here we go seatbelt signs have come on all right and looking at our cabin altitude it's 13,000 feet and climbing we need to initiate a descent and we're gonna go ahead immediately the first thing we're gonna do is put on our oxygen masks you open the door which would actually be over here on the side you open it you grab your mask you put it on you immediately go into interphone so that and then you cross check that your that your partner can hear you and as soon as that's done immediately initiate the descent seatbelt signs come on and we're gonna go ahead and uh, immediately just turn and pull and I'm on I'm on a track right now so I'm going to turn and pull and I'm going to pull the speed and I'm going to go speed brake maximum out all right then we're gonna go ahead and go TA and squawk 7700 which is our emergency uh, mayday thing and now we can call in our mayday which is mayday 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 uh, waypoint aviation 320 we've had a rapid decompression we're descending down to 10,000 uh, immediately and we're turning off track uh, for now and that's about it that's all we have to tell them and we're now going to be turning and we're descending all right so as you, as you can see the cabin altitude has gone up way above so the mask should already be deployed which they have been done all right the maximum the the masks are deployed but just in case I'm gonna push them just gonna just in case gonna push that button and make sure that they deploy as well so they're in the masks are deployed so that's good all right and uh, as you can see now uh, the cabin pressure now is starting to reduce as we're descending so I want to go faster I can I I could probably take it to about 5,000 feet a minute maybe so I'm gonna go with 320 you see our, our maximum speed is over there so as long as I don't bust through that I should be okay now that I'm a, I'm a I'm about two and a half uh, probably about almost coming up on three miles off the track I mean no danger of hitting any aircraft beneath me that could be on that track so what I'm going to do now is I'm basically just going to level out 070 in line with that truck and we should be okay you know continue in the right direction and uh, yeah all right so cabin altitude oxygen mask used all right so I'm, I've got my mask on I've got my interphone on all good engine mode selected to ignition as it says so cabin crew and they've been advised already they would know trust me they would know um, speed maximum or appropriate so I could go maximum speed I could dial this all the way to the maximum speed and descend as quickly as possible all right but this is a rapid decompression so what I want to do is I I uh, I want to 
you know, I, I don't want to... Um, sorry, I lost my chain of thought there. Uh, because it's, a, it's an explosive decompression, I don't want to stress the fuselage too much. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep this now to 9,000. Here we go, 9,000, and I'm going to just keep it at about, uh, say, 320. That's fine, that's nice over there. And the speed brakes are out as well, so that's gonna help. Sometimes I would not even use the speed brakes too much to avoid the stress on the cabin, all right? Cabin crew advised, gonna clear those messages there. Emergency descent PA announced. Transponder 7700, all right, that has been done. And our maximum flight level should be 10,000 feet, um, MEA, MORA, okay? And if the cabin altitude is greater than 14,000 feet, passenger uh, oxygen masks manual on. It was over 10,000 feet, which is why we basically deployed them. All right, that was done. And um, the hydraulic system decided to do something, I don't know. All right, and then clear. All right, expect high cabin rate, uh, aircraft vertical speed reduce, all right? So now we're coming up over, we're coming down to 10,000 feet. I can go ahead and start reducing our speed because right now the cabin pressurization, the cabin altitude is now below 10,000. So we're out of the danger. So I can now get, get, the, get this aircraft slowed down. And um, yeah, let's set the QNH today should be 1003. And we're gonna level off here and I'm going to get the speed brakes stored as well and uh, Looking down at our systems page uh, Rat, apparently the rat is also deployed. So minimum rat speed 140. That's fine. No worries And that's pretty much it guys. That's how we handle a rapid decompression immediately turn and pull engage the descent Pull and lock yourself in the fastest speed that you have at that very moment and then pull the head in. If you're in nav, pull the head in and go to the left of the track, all right? So we were on this track over here. We got off the track because there are other aeroplanes that could have been on that track above us or beneath us. So we wanted to make sure, you know, while we're screaming our way down, we didn't want to bump into any of those other traffic. So that's why we did that, guys. And as you can see, I'm at 9,000 feet. The cabin pressure is at 9,000. I can request a further descent, maybe down to 4,000. That's going to again bring the altitude down as well and the aircraft uh, and the cabin altitude. You see that? We're, we're reducing. The cabin altitude is also reducing. And I guess we could probably divert now somewhere, maybe to Abu Dhabi and land or something. So this is now where I would uh, look at the situation. I'm 175 miles away from Dubai. Uh, Abu Dhabi is nearby, Al Maktoum Airport is nearby as well. Uh, however, I mean Dubai World Central Airport is also nearby. However, Dubai is just 175. I be, I'll be cruising at about 200 and something miles an hour. I can get there in 30 minutes. So I think we should be okay to proceed on straight away towards Dubai. Should be fine because obviously if Dubai is my base, then I'm gonna have maintenance there and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I hope this helps you to learn how to handle um, a, a minor problem where uh, the pressurization system is fa uh, fails and you've got to still work, uh, work it manually. The automated systems fail, but you work them manually or you have an explosion, you have a kaboom in the back and rapid decompression and now it's up to you to get the plane down and safe as soon as possible. Um, so that people can breathe and stay alive. That's our job. That's why we are pilots. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, for those of you who are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless every single one of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.